Equestrian Gamers, Colleen here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks on Wild Horse Islands on Roblox. Wild Horse Islands has very, very quickly become a very popular game in the equestrian community. So I just wanted to show you a few quick little things that you can do to improve gameplay. We're starting off with five little tips for you guys. So you probably already know most of these. It actually took me a little while to realize they existed. So I thought I would add these to this video. So the first one is being able to mute players. So when you do go into your chat, if you actually do slash help, it will come up with all the commands and there is a mute and unmute the speaker, so a player as well. So this is super handy if a player is getting, I don't know, a bit drama field or perhaps they're doing RP in the general chat. So anything like that, if someone's being rude, you can just mute them. If they are being like really rude or mean, mean to you, just block them. Nice and easy. Don't argue, just block them and then it's done. But there is the option to mute players as well, which I think is really handy. The next little tip is to turn off trading. So in your settings, you can actually turn off trading, which means you can run around without people clicking, can you trade, can you trade, can you trade, and you having to dismiss it all the time. So it is on a toggle, so you can turn it off. Super, super, super useful, especially if you're running around on a really pretty horse. I find that if I come into town, I don't want to be on my horse 24-7. I'd like to be able to tie my horse up and run around. So turning off that trading option is awesome. So guys, please don't run around and just spam trade people. It is frustrating and it's quite annoying. If you want to trade with someone, you can simply put it in chat, talk to them, ask for permission instead of just running up and clicking trade with everyone that you run across. So definitely very, very useful. Um, I turn off my trade a lot. Every time I seem to turn it on, someone tries to trade with it, me without asking first. So keeping the trading off until I need to use it, super, super helpful. One thing that I do all the time is I actually reset my character if I'm not near the docks. So resetting your character will automatically put you to the dock on whichever island it is that you are currently on. This is super handy if you want to get somewhere really fast, especially for like the world events. If you want to get to the herd quickly, this works really, really well. But also if you're just feeling lazy and you don't want to ride all the way back to the dock, you can just reset your character and then there you are. One of the things I do get asked about is how do I capture the more rare horses like the Dapple Palomino Thoroughbreds and Frisians. So there is a trick to it. So the way that I found works best is when you select an island, stick to that island. And what you need to do is run around and capture every single horse on the island. So each island, the horses do have specific areas that they spawn. So they will spawn in the same place over and over again. And you want to run around, capture them all, and then run around again. Once you capture a horse, it will respawn a new horse. So instead of running around and leaving them where they are, you're forcing the game to respawn new horses, which gives you more chances of being able to capture the horse that you are looking for. While you are running around collecting horses to make them respawn, also grab all the rocks and ores that you come across because that will force them to respawn as well. So 
even with the rocks, rocks may not be deemed as extremely useful. You can sell them. It's just extra money in your pocket from the trader. So collect everything, even just plain rocks, because then there's a higher chance it will respawn as a better ore. Now on to some scams to keep an eye out for. Now scams happen in so many games. It's not just this game. There is a ton of scams in any game where there is trading available. I wanted to point out a few of the scams that I have seen and just to warn you guys and make you guys aware that yes, people are out there trying to scam other people for their horses or their accessories. So it's more just something to be aware of. There's not a ton of scams in this game. The, com the community in general is really, really good and play really fair. But there is a few that of course will come up. It does in all the games. So one of the first ones is trust trade. So trust trade means that someone will approach you and say, hey, you know, trade with me, trust me, I will give the horse back. I'm just borrowing the horse. I will definitely give it back after role playing. This trust trade never, ever, ever do. Unless you personally know that person really well and you've known them for a while, do not let other players borrow your horse. If they're desperate for a horse to ride, it's very, very easy for them to catch their own horse. Next is do not give your horse to another person to train. So there is a trainer on mainland that you can spend tokens to make your horses perform better. If someone says, hey, I will use my own tokens and I will train your horse for you so you don't have to pay for it, it's a scam. Say no, block, move on. So I've actually seen this happen and I did report the person straight away. But they offered to pay for the training and then said, oh, I promise I'll give your horse back. I promise I'm just doing it because I'm nice. And of course, unfortunately, as soon as the player agreed, they took their horse and left the game. So please do not fall for this. Now, keep in mind that people do role play as trainers, which is perfectly fine. That's awesome. It's a really, really good role play. So keep in mind that it's not just anyone who says, oh, I can be your trainer in chat. Most of the time, those people are actually just role playing. They don't actually take your horse. They just want to role play as a trainer. So just definitely keep that in mind. Please do not go after anyone who wants to role play as a trainer. This is for people who are like, give me your horse, trade me your horse, and I will pay to train it. In the trading for this game, you are able to trade four items at a time. Now, what I've seen happen is someone will say, oh, I've got this awesome horse. I will trade it for your horse and I will have like add accessories or a saddle or da 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 da, whatever it may be. But what the scammer did was they went, okay, there's only four slots. So I'm going to give you the accessories first, then we'll trade again and I'll give you the horse. That person ended up trading a very, very good horse for accessories. They did not get that second trade to get the horse that they wanted. And the scammer just left the game. So for this one, if you are trading more than four items, I highly, highly recommend you get the horse in the first trade. If they say, oh no, I'll give you this stuff, I promise I'll trade you again for the, for the horse in the second trade, no, don't accept that. Just say, no, I want the horse first, in the first trade. And the final scam to keep an eye out for is when someone says, hey, if you give me your horse, I'm going to give you 
this or that in a completely different game. I do not trust this. I really do not trust this at all. So they'll say, oh, you know, send me a friend request and then I'll give you all my animals in such and such game. I wouldn't trust it, guys. I honestly would not trust it. It is so easy for people to block people or to unfriend you. So you could give them your horse and leave the game so you can join this other game. And they're just like, ha, no, delete, bye. Nice knowing you, thanks for the horse. So this is just, yeah, it's not something that I trust. I've, I've seen it in chat and thankfully the players were like, no, that's sus, we're not doing it. So hopefully they don't, don't get away with that sort of thing. Uh, it's clearly against multiple rules of the game, but yeah, I don't know. There, there is always exceptions to the rule. So some people could be legit, but I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't know. It's just a bit sus. But yes, but those are the sort of scams that you need to be aware of. Of course, being in a trading game, people are going to try and take advantage, especially of newer players. My advice is to lock your horses so you can actually, I'll show you, here we go. So I recently caught a thoroughbred. You can click on the horse and lock them. So that horse cannot be traded until you unlock them again. So you can lock your horses. You can also turn your trading off, which I showed you earlier in the video, which I highly recommend. If you really, really want to trade a horse, definitely go for it. Don't be scared of trading. Just be aware that there are scams out there. There's scams in all trading games. So as always, there are exceptions to the rules. Like I understand if it's your friend that's saying, oh, you know, let's trade this and this and anything like that. I do understand that it doesn't apply to everyone. It applies just to certain circumstances. But just so you guys are aware, it does happen now and again, unfortunately. It is pretty rare. It does not happen a lot in game. People are generally pretty aware of um, scammers, which is excellent. And everyone always jumps into the chat and goes, hey, don't do that. It's a scam, which is excellent to see that the community is banding together and having each other's backs. And finally, I'm just going to quickly go through some of the in-game slang. So slang is an abbreviation or a changing of words, which happens a lot in this game. It is necessary. Roblox seems to like to censor a lot of words um, that I don't think should be censored, but I understand where they're coming from. It is a safety thing, but it is... It's a bit extreme. It makes it hard to talk in chat. So for the slang words, we're starting off with the most popular, which is NFT. This stands for not for trade. So if someone comes up to me and says, hey, can I trade for your horse? I say, sorry, NFT. So sorry, not for trade. NTY stands for no thank you. This is actually something I had no idea what this meant for a fair while. It took me a while to realize what that one meant. For the horses, the abbreviation, so free, F-R-I, is for Frisian. TB is thoroughbred. Clyde is Clydesdale. Appa is Appaloosa. And QH is quarter horse. Now, the one, the last slang that I've got for you guys today is UFO, which stands for up for offer. It's actually a really old abbreviation. It's been around for years and years. I'm surprised I don't see it actually in game very often at all. But it is one of those things. It will come up now and again, so it can be useful.
And my final tip for you guys is the game does actually supply a capture log. So if you click on quest and go to capture log, it actually shows you all the different breeds in the game. It will also tell you all the different colours and what you have caught so far. Now I find this really really useful simply because especially it's more it's a bit of a tip bit of a thing for scams as well so say that someone is offering a silver frisian you can go into this and go hang on it doesn't exist there is no such thing as a silver frisian now people do make mistakes of course there's always exceptions to the rule People do make mistakes and look at their horse and go, hey, it looks silver. It could be a silver horse. But it is just something to be aware of that all the information is here for you guys to double check. Plus, you can keep an eye on uh, what horses you do still need to catch. But it is here and it is extremely useful as well. Alrighty guys, I'm going to leave this video here. Hey, it's Brie. Hello. <laughs> I didn't even realize. I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you do enjoy my videos, please subscribe. We are trying to reach 1,000 subscribers this year. So I'd really, really appreciate if you join our community. And I shall catch you all in the next video.